Tonight on Idaho News 6, I'll introduce you to the local organization using their love of the outdoors to feed the hungry. We take a look at AWOL Adventure Sports and how business has been during this pandemic. And coming up next on my Idaho News 6 weather forecast for the Magic Valley, look at these weather headlines. What a day today. The breeze blowing, plentiful sunshine. That breeze will diminish and heating up rapidly into the weekend. Coming up next. The Magic Valley's new choice for news. This is Idaho News 6. And good evening, Magic Valley. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Roland Barris. Time to get a little perspective on the COVID-19 pandemic and where Idaho stands on that. There has been a recent spike in positive cases that we've been covering. For the last few days, Idaho has had close to 400 new cases each day, even setting a record on Friday with 398 new cases. Recently, the vast majority of the new cases have been reported in the Treasure Valley, but the Magic Valley also seeing a growing surge. Many of you have asked to see more numbers and an explanation of what they mean. We're going to try and meet that request. 94 Idahoans have lost their lives due to COVID-19 so far. Hospitalizations are trending higher, but thankfully right now, Idaho still has plenty of ICU beds available and more than 400 ventilators are prepped and ready if needed. Two summer school students in Twin Falls have tested positive for COVID-19, according to the South Central Public Health District. Uh, the Twin Falls School District says they were notified of the cases on June 24th. Now, the